Thank you for tuning in to Devotions. Wow, one day after Christmas. I know for some of us, we're kind of glad that's over, especially if you're a mom or dad. If you held a Christmas dinner at your house, and I know the mess is probably still there, but this is the day after. All right, so I want to go one more day. I'm doing some chip chop things. Pastor Sam and I were speaking over all these weeks on the different names for Jesus. Now, I'm going to take you one more time. Isaiah 9, 6. I would never get tired of this verse. You know, this child given, given to us has been born. A son given. Government shall be upon his shoulders. Name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. I'm going to stop right there. I, yesterday, I talked about, I want you to have a wonderful Christmas. Well, Jesus is a wonderful counselor. If you've got a problem, don't call everybody in the world you call Jesus first. I tell people, I say, our church is on the top of this hill. It used to be called the Hilltop Baptist Church. We, we just call it now the Log Church. That's what we're known for uh, because we're going to the bottom of the hill. We couldn't stay, you know, the Hilltop Church at the bottom. And I said, but up here on the hill, we're closer to God. It, it, listen, it's a local call. <laughs> You, when you pray from here, because we're closer to God, okay? Okay, I'm joking around, but listen, God wants to hear from you. God loves you. Uh, God is a wonderful counselor. He will help you. John 10, verse 10, the thief comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy, but Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have more abundantly. Jesus doesn't want to just give you a place in heaven, which is awesome. But eternal life begins at the moment you become a Christian. Eternal life, imagine that. Eternity begins in your heart because God lives within you. Jesus abides in your heart and in your life. And and he wants you to have a more abundant life, even though you're upon this world that's full of trouble. And he'll counsel you through that. Look at Isaiah 41.10. He said, fear not, I am with you. Be not dismayed. Don't be so confused about it. Listen, we live in a world full of sin. Okay, so the curse of sin is here. We have to deal with it. He said, for I am your God. I'm going to strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. I, you put your life in God's hands because you're in God's hands. You take your burden, what's bothering you, and you put it down in his hands. Let him carry it. You go to bed... He never goes to sleep. He can stay up and think about your problem. He'll take care of your problem. But he's your counselor. He's going to help you get to the place where you need to be. Life is tough, but our God is tougher. Do you believe in that? Listen, you might want to write that one down. Put it on the fridge. Life is tough. It is tough. But my God's tougher. And that God lives in here. That means you can get through anything. You can get through the other side. With flying colors. Did you ever think God's putting you through all that because he wants to reward you when you get to heaven? So he's listening to you, watching how you react. Do you turn to the world or do you turn to God first? Because Jesus is the great counselor. I like the, look at this here. Like where God leads, he feeds. Where God directs, he protects. Where God guides, he provides. I remember why I wanted to Go, I remember I got kicked out of my house as a kid. I just started walking. I didn't know where I was walking. I just made it up as I went. I finally paused. I said, God, give me. I, I had a dime. I, I had a dime to make a phone call. Back in that day, it's all cost. I said, so should I call somebody? I called somebody. Made, God led me. He's a great counselor. He, he was with me. He helped me. He'll, he'll be with you. He will guide you too. Wherever he takes you, he's going to take care of you. So I want to encourage you today to turn to him. And you want to start out the year like this. And I I pray that 2024 is going to be the greatest year of your life. 